Hello everyone, Sapphire here, back with another video on the Bronze to Diamond series. We are playing Darius again, of course, because he's my favorite champ, and we are going against who I believe is Tom Kench Top. Now, I have struggled with this matchup so many times. I'm going to go... We'll go Doran's Blade. I'll just start Doran's Blade to be very aggressive against him. Just because I feel like he's not going to poke me out. Otherwise, I would go Doran's Shield, of course. But yeah, it's going to be a tough lane. He also took Exhaust. So he doesn't have TP. So that's both good and bad. It means his 1v1 is much, much stronger. And that is great for us. Let's go. Awesome work. Good job, Nunu. So mainly, you want to avoid pushing up in lane against Tom Kench. Because he can run you down. He's like Darius in a way. Where he just will slow you, auto attack you, auto attack again, and then eventually he'll devour you, do tons of damage, and then just rinse and repeat that. So, we're going to let the lane come into us. Also, they have a Graves. And so I, wanna, I don't want to push up against that. Just because... Yep, there, he's just going to... I tried to dodge it there. So I kept attacking him there just because I had my stacks on him. And then I could have ghosted there, but... I'm just, I just really want the wave to come into me. It's fine. I'm going to sit back and chill. Okay, okay. Yep. Oh, okay, we forced out his we forced out his exhaust. And now he's in a very gankable position. So I'm going to play up a little bit. See Nunu coming in. Awesome work. See, so that play would have never happened if I would have been pushing up. Right? And then the opposite could have happened, where Graves is the one to gank me. I guess I'm just going to trim this a little bit, and I'm going to back. They should have that. By the time I roam it, it's too late for me to roam. Okay, we'll get boots, that, and... That's fine. Close. Yeah, so the, uh, I didn't have enough time to push in the wave, so I just trimmed it a little bit, so I come back, and it, I don't miss that many minions. And Tom Kinch now has buffs. That's fantastic. I'm just going to try to trim this. I want to get four minions about, and it will freeze. And I want to keep this freeze against him. So right now we're just going to farm it up. It's going to be kind of tough for him to break the freeze. Because he has to fight me in order to do so. We're just playing back. Trying to be safe. He's got the double buff, so that is very... That scares me a lot. Yeah, so we're just trying to thin out some minions. Just so they don't hit tower. And we are in a great spot right here. 
Because now he's overextending. We're safe from ganks. Go for a little trade. The auto WQ. Back off. Let him hit the minions. Yeah, so usually against Tom Kench, like I've tried to shove him under tower. And it's just... He just runs me down like you saw earlier. Like he'll poke me down and then run me down. It is insane and really frustrating. Because as Darius, you feel really, really strong in the early game. And you can 1v1 anyone, but Tom Kench is one person who can definitely 1v1 you. And he took exhaust, so it just further amplifies that. We're doing fine on the farm. Got our ultimate. This is fine. And basically, you could just play play wave management. And you will win most of your matchups. Like, it really doesn't matter if your opponent's better than you, if you just do better in lane. Like, if you manage your waves correctly, you can get outplayed, and it won't matter that much. Because Tom Kench backed, I'm just trying to shove the wave now. And we want to make sure it hits tower. Yeah, so it's this is fine. This is a fantastic back. And then we want to get Merc, Merc Treads. I don't have enough gold, so... Attack speed. We're going to go into Triforce first. Yes, yeah, so on Darius, you always want to go Phage first. Just because it gives you movement speed. Unless they have, like, a... A person that auto attacks a lot, like Jax or Wukong, and then you want to rush uh, Tabby's. It's great against Trindamere as well. Or even if you're facing a Darius, it's good to rush Tabby's for the most part. And sadly, I could not freeze this wave, because I'd be tanking a lot of damage. Otherwise, I would. We're just going to farm under tower. Still up in CS. We're about a kill's worth up in CS alone. And he just keeps wanting to shove us in. We are in a great spot. Nune is coming in for the gank, but this is already warded. We're gonna pop Ghost. He's gonna flash most likely. I'm just trying to predict the flash. Sweets. Ooh, and I got a cannon. I almost missed that. So right now I just want to shove it in. It's because the wave was pushing. He doesn't have teleport. He does have his ultimate, so I do have to be weary of that. But I'm going to greed. Well, I was going to greed. For its tower plate. He doesn't catch me. I also have flash. Oh, I did not account for his. Oh, he took a uh, sorcery, so he gets movement speed on his flash. Okay, so so far our team is doing pretty well. Oh, and right there is a perfect example why I shouldn't have greeted for a tower plate.
Okay, but we're, we're still in a fine spot. Uh, oh, uh, another uh, fact is Tom Kench is terrible in team fights. So if you ever feel like you're getting... I mean, it's a rare pick and I missed that cannon. Uh, if you ever feel like you're getting absolutely crushed by Tom Kench, just focus on the team fights because you will be a lot better in team fights than he will ever be. And Tom Kench is mid. So we're gonna shove this in. I do want to be cautious. I don't know where Graves is. Okay, he's bot side. I'm free to push. Probably get another tower play and then we'll dip right after this. Actually, Tom Kench is still bot, so we can still continue to push and deny him uh, XP and gold from these minions. Like they get the Drake, but it's it's not a big deal. It's Cloud, and they took him off the map, so we're gonna get first tower. Which is fantastic. It's like if you're Tom Kench, or if you're if you're someone without teleport, it it is really really risky for you to go for dragon. I mean, it does put more pressure on us to start contesting the Drakes from here on out to avoid getting soul point, or from to avoid them get from getting soul point, but. It, I just think it's infinitely more worth it just to stay in lane and get those plates, unless you have teleport, right? Because then you can teleport down there. Like you, you could sit top. You could do two things. You can back head to dragon and always teleport top after the Drake, or you can sit in lane. Okay. I was gonna say, or you can sit in lane. And then teleport to the Drake. Or alternatively teleport bot lane and then hopefully make a play bot and then go for Drake. So right now I'm pretty sure we can 1v1 this Tom Kench. He only has Bammies and Merc Treads. So right now we're just going to freeze. There's nothing for us on the map to gain. Right? Most people would just shove in the wave right now. Okay, well... I'm gonna try ghosting him down. Then we are not gonna fight in that minion wave. We got out his, his exhaust, so that's great. Should be dead. Nah, I can't go. Tom ulted. Oh, he was so close. But right there, I really just wanted to freeze the wave just because there's no objectives to get. There's no rift hair, like, yeah, there's nothing to get. And I would just be pushing in the wave, and Tom Kench would be CSing for free. But by freezing the wave, he misses that. At least that's the that's the thought process behind it. But I do want to try to get this rift herald. I think we are stronger, the three of us. So we could easily just rotate over and bot lane's bot lane, so they're just going to be chilling until they get bot tower. Even though in reality they should be going, um, bot lane should be going mid right now. Just because I already took top tower. And then they can go mid. And I can go bot or the, or, or Heimerdinger can go bot. 
and then we'll get more control over uh, Rift Herald. So gonna, right now we're just going to rotate mid and then try to put some damage onto this tower. Okay, and then we're going to rotate bot. And we're going to get this tower. And they should not be able to defend it because it's really, really low. But the enemy team is doing really, really well. Okay, Aphelios does not want us to get it, but we are going to get it. And we're going to back and head over to Drake, even though I think it might be gone. By the time I get there. And they also have control over it. But we will try. Or not. I think we're just gonna... Okay then. We should just trade it for Rift Herald. Okay, so I take it and then we'll answer by Rift Herald. Gonna be a tough fight. I'm just trying to get my stacks up on Tom Kench. Sorry about that. My dragons are very excitable. Okay, so Velkaz does a ton of damage. And so I just flashed away just because I thought I was gonna die. So I just ulted Tom Kench to get the kill and then flashed away. This is going to be a tough game. Heimerdinger's 5-0. and Like, it's just... Both of the mids are popping off. And then bot lane, they're... Oh. And it's hard to chase Graves. He can just kite me, and I didn't know who else was there. Okay, Graves is mid, so I'm just going to push out this next wave. And we see Graves in his bot jungle. And I should die here, actually. Yeah. I did not respect the Velkaz going over. Ooh, Senna, that was close. I just need to continue farming and then grouping for objectives. And then I guess focus either the Velkaz or the Graves. So in team fights, I'm probably just going to hold on. What? Oh, this space. Okay. So in team fights, I'm looking just to stack on Tom Kench, and then uh, go onto the back line such as Aphelios, Velkaz, or Graves. However, I do feel that Velkaz would be the best option. And, and as you can see there, that's why. That is why. This 
is a tough, tough game. Ooh. This is terrible for me. Get my double Q. I think I still die here. That guy is tanky. Okay, well hopefully we get a, a small chunk on the mid tower. I, this is just... This is a rough one. This... It's like, it's hard for me to split push. Come on. Come on Heimer, let's go. And my stacks ran out. I, and this is the first loss of the series. It's very, very disappointing. And sometimes these games happen, right? That, so this was an all gold, all gold game. And it, it's just, if your team ints like that, there's not much you can do. And especially if I make mistakes too, like I made a couple mistakes and enemy team is able to snowball and they just, we just got outplayed. Simple as that. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, laning phase went well. After laning phase, not so much. But if you focus on laning phase, you will 100% start winning more games. 100%. Like, it, it'll take you to diamond. Just focus on laning phase and then put less emphasis on macro right now and just mainly focus on the laning phase. And you will start improving. You'll become more consistent and winning more games. Anyway, get, anyways, guys, I hope this video was helpful for the laning phase, at least. And first loss of the series, rip. But I will be back with another one. This is Sapphire, and I will see you in the next one.